Yo, guys, I got some new shoes, and I gotta talk about them. Let's go. So years ago, when I was looking for different suit companies, I'd always come across these reviews by this gracefully long-haired dude named Justin. And I absolutely loved them. And I actually got to meet him in person when I went to a conference in Atlanta. Just all around a really awesome dude, honestly, you know? And he happens to own a loafer company called Jay Butler. And loafers are my favorite shoes, so of course I dig it, right? And not too long afterwards, he calls me, rings me up, and he's like, yo, I want to send you a pair of loafers. Now, you don't have to do a review or anything like that. I just want to send them your way. Maybe incorporate them into a video. So just look at the site and let me know what you think. I told you he's an awesome dude. So of course I start looking at the ones I like and what I do like about the site is that it's very simple and there's basically three types of loafers on there. And I picked the dark brown horse bit loafers because A, I like horse bit loafers. B, I don't have a pair of dark brown leather shoes yet and I have enough colored suede shoes as my brother put it. So those beautiful dark green ones had to be put on hold. Something I want, but not something I need. And C, the ostrich ones are way too precious and expensive for me to ask for free without looking like a complete douchebag. And after I got them, I actually bought a pair of their shoe trees because A, you need them, and two, they're already on the site, so they fit well for these types of shoes, and they were a great price. So the box finally arrives, and to my absolute surprise, there are two pairs of shoes in there. And I'm like, well, I didn't order two, right? So I open one, and of course, it's those beautiful brown ones. But then the other one were the dark green ones. <laughs> I can actually have my cake and eat it, too. It was awesome. <laughs> and I had no idea. And so I look at my phone, and Justin left me a text. I'm really bad at getting back at text. And he's like, yo, I also sent you a pair of the dark green ones because... It, I know your style and it looks good with it, especially with one of your pairs of white pants. It would really look well. I'm telling you, this guy's awesome. He already knows my style because that's exactly how I would have styled them if I would have gotten them. Green and white's amazing. Now, right off the bat, I really like the shape of these. I'm normally not the kind of guy to gravitate towards the moccasin style loafer, right? But when I saw these, I really actually liked them more when I saw them in person, and I really appreciate the classic design of it. And the horse bit just makes it stand out more, makes it a lot more interesting. And I chose gold because, of course, gold is awesome, and gold and green is perfection. Now, I can already hear somebody in the comments say, Oh, it's a bit loafer. It's just a knockoff of Gucci. Okay, let me give you a lesson here, pal. So sit in the stool of shame, all right? And put on that dunce cap while I give you a lesson in front of the whole class, okay? Horse bit loafers aren't a knockoff of Gucci. They are a design in and of itself. Because guess what? Belgian style loafers, the style, started with one company. Belgian Shoes NYC, and just like Penny Loafers, started with one company. We don't call Penny Loafers HG Bass Ouija knockoffs, okay? And Gucci is overpriced anyway, all right? And I'm not paying for hype because my dick's big enough. <laughs> Actually, I think I outdouched the hype beast. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where were we? Where were we? Oh yeah. So most leather shoes, especially leather sole shoes, at least the ones I've had, need to have at least some small breaking in process for them to be real comfortable and mold to your foot, right? But these ones were actually super comfortable, instantly comfortable right out of the box. And I was really pleasantly surprised by that. But then again, they're loafers. It'd be kind of redundant if they weren't comfortable, right? Now the brown ones I actually have barely worn because I really wanted to show you the difference between an old sole that's been worn in and a new sole. And only just because, look at that, that's beautiful. New soles, oh, they just look so beautiful. And I've been dying to wear these, like really, because so many outfits I could have really used these, but I wanted to show you for the video, all right? So, you know what, finally this is out so I can actually start wearing these beautiful things. Speaking of soles, the only thing I gotta say is that the soles are very slippery, even for leather sole standards, right? So, cause usually you do slip a little bit on leather sole shoes and you got to be careful especially in the winter but these ones i almost slipped and fell when i was wearing them for the first day <laughs> but other than that it was fine so just make sure before you you know wear them outside especially in the winter roughen them up a bit but these are blake stitch which is great honestly because you know 
glued souls they suck they're terrible they're awful it's insulting and blake stitch souls have a nice low profile which is great for loafers and they're cheaper than goodyear welted souls which brings me to the final point which is the price point because i haven't mentioned that yet these were just under 200 dollars two which is fan freaking tastic for the quality that you get that's why i was really surprised when i opened these the quality is great with the brown leather ones being full grain leather so it'll develop a beautiful patina over time the buckles are of nice quality the design is great and the comfort level is top yeah justin i know you said not to do a review for these but i had to do these are absolutely fan freaking tastic love them and i wear them all the time you did a great job dude so i'll have jay butler linked in the description below so you guys can go check them out please do justin did a fantastic job with this company and this brand so like or dislike this review sub if you haven't already and also i'll be doing a video on how to style green shoes so i'll be using these as a pretty example so turn on that bell notification icon so that you'll know and be notified when i actually drop that video and share this before heading out and leave a comment down below which style of loafer is actually your favorite because for me I don't know anymore. I'm stuck. I got so many now that I just say loafers are my favorite shoe in general because I want to know what you guys think because as you know, this is group thing and we're in this together. So all right, my homies, I'll see you very soon. Adio. Oh, that's better. All right. Finally, can wear these brown ones. Doggone it, man. I've been dying to. I wore them a few times, but I've been dying to take them out, man. Ha <laughs>